Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to my channel. I'm on my way to campus today. I have my six hours of knit design class, which I'm pretty excited about. But first, I just wanted to hang out here at Columbus Circle for a moment. You can see the statue up there, just to show you what I'm wearing. I got this vest on my recent trip to Serbia, which you may have seen that vlog posted on my channel from a couple weeks ago. But this is hand knit in a traditional style that's commonly found in the mountains of that area. And I'm really excited about it, so let me show you. In my knit design class, I continued to develop my two collections of stripe designs, which are in two completely different colorways. My first one is for the young women's market, and it's all about experimental freestyle knitting. And my second one is for the women's market, and it's all about natural dye and traditional crafting practices. This week, I focused mostly on this second collection, and I started playing around in our program called Kalido to create my stripe designs. By the end of the day, I finished designing two of my three structures, and then I just started playing around with potential color options for each one. I just finished up with my long day of knitting and honestly I'm really enjoying this class a lot. It's kind of hard to like show you what I'm up to just because it's all on the computer but hopefully you can kind of get the gist of like what it is we're doing still. I think one thing that I really like about this assignment right now is that we're given only like a handful of stitches to work with so the possibilities are pretty limited in terms of what we could come up with but I feel like that really like pushes us and challenges us to try to make something unique given how limited our resources are and I feel like a lot of my classes have like the opposite problem where there were like too many options and too many possibilities so this is just kind of like the opposite of that and a little bit refreshing. I'm now heading home. I have a little bit of work that I have to do tonight for homework but I'm gonna try to take it easy and just get ready for tomorrow so I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm on my way to campus. I have my science class this morning which should be a pretty fun time and I'm pretty excited for it so Let's go. After our class lecture, we had two activities for the day, one of which was to learn the basics of knitting so we could have a way to easily create swatches and samples once we start designing our own materials. Afterwards, we headed over to the lab to make some mushroom products. Last week, we learned all about mushroom mycelium as an emerging sustainable biomaterial, and we were tasked to make our own molds of anything we'd like to create our own mushroom products. So last week you saw me make a mold of a rubber duck, and today I filled it with a blend of material that includes flour, hemp herd, water, and some mycelium. Over the next few weeks, the fungus will eat the hemp and flour, and it'll grow and it'll grow until it fills the mold. And eventually I'll have a rubber ducky made of mushrooms. If you wanna learn some more about this process or give it a try yourself, I'll include some links in my video description. I just finished up in that class and honestly, that was a whole lot of fun. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was also really funny to kind of like be back in a lab setting again, because I haven't been in like a traditional lab like that in a really long time, like since before, <laughs> since before I like totally changed my field and went from bio to sciences. So like sitting at a lab bench and seeing like all the glassware and the burners and stuff like that was definitely, a throwback. Anyway, I have a little bit of work I need to go do at home and then I'm gonna go out for my Valentine's Day dinner with Ryan, so I'll see you then. Ah. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm running a little bit late today, so I'm rushing to the train. I'm heading to my surface design class where I'm going to keep working on my tabletop project, so let's go! Uh, of course! Bye! Well, I guess since I'm waiting, I can show you my outfit. <laughs>
Once I finally got to school, I started working on my tablecloth pattern that features white alligators swimming in a colorful lily pond. Here's my mood board and my color story. And here's the start that I made on my repeat last week, which focused on the lily pads and flowers, but is still missing the alligators. So today I worked on fine tuning my layout to make sure that nothing looked awkward, and I made room for those gator motifs that I plan on adding in. And here's today's progress. I didn't get to actually design the gators yet, so they're just black silhouettes for now, but I had the chance to figure out the placement of all of my other motifs, and I'll keep working on this throughout the week. In my next class, which is my jacquard design class, I worked on refining my kelp design. We were asked to make one version using only two colors, and one version using up to six colors where the colors will eventually be replaced with woven structures. Today was mostly spent making sure that all of my shapes are nice and smooth, which basically meant zooming in all the way and cleaning up any pixels that were out of place. I also printed out my design to see how it would look in the real world at actual size, and I love how gigantic and exaggerated the whole thing is. Hello again, I just finished up in class and pretty much in both of my classes, I was just like scooting pixels around one by one until they were in their perfect places, which was definitely very, very tedious and time consuming, but also kind of meditative at the same time. The only thing is now my eyes are so dry and I'm so tired from just like staring at screens all day. As usual, I just have a little bit of work to do when I get home and then I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. My hair is looking a little bit crazy because I've been just like speed walking to my class field trip this morning. We're gonna go to a couple different stores here in the area and look at some home textiles. So let's go. Today's class was focused on the idea of categorizing both retailers and products into good, better, and best categories. We first started with H&M's home section, which because of its price, quality, value, etc., would fall into the good category. And we were asked to explore the products to find things within the store that were good options, better options, and best options. This basically meant a lot of touching things and reading price tags and labels for information. Then we headed over to Macy's where the products are generally much more expensive and made from higher quality materials. And we repeated the same exercise in their bedding department. Then we were asked to split up into groups and to pick two stores that would each fall into a different quality category and to then pick one item from each store to compare side by side. My friends and I decided to run over to Bergdorf Goodman, which is considered a best option, to look at their decorative pillows. I absolutely love this store. It's almost like an extravagant art museum and it's just filled to the brim with super maximalist luxury products and it's just perfect for finding design inspiration. We also decided to treat ourselves to lunch and Bellini's at Bergdorf's restaurant. Then we headed over to our next store of choice, which was Anthropology, which falls in the better category. And we knew that they would also have some really fun decorative pillows. spending the entire day running around the city and having a whole lot of fun, we eventually had to make our way back to campus for our afternoon class. Today, my goal was to mix my colors to create my palette for this project. Essentially what that means is that I'm taking my store-bought dyes and mixing them into empty bottles until I get the exact colors that are on my mood board. That way I can be sure that all of my colors exactly match my color palette and are consistent throughout this whole collection. In these clips, I'm trying to make an orange color that's pretty muted, which is tricky because the dyes are all usually super neon when they're straight out of the bottle. So you'll see me start with an orange dye, test it out, and then add blue and purple to the orange to tone it down. This works because on the color wheel, blue is opposite to orange, so adding blue makes the whole mix a little bit more gray, which is what I want for this palette. Thank you. 
This entire process is pretty much a combination of color theory and trial and error, and it's just really messy and hands-on, and my hands always end up super stained after this, but eventually I did figure out my palette. to get home and hopefully beat the rain so I'll see you tomorrow good morning happy Friday it's finally the end of the week the weather is disgusting and I'm heading to my jacquard weaving class so let's go today's class was focused on putting weaves into our designs this pretty much means that each color in my drawing will now be replaced with a woven structure which are the red and white grids on the left where this becomes really fun and technical is figuring out what woven structure to pick for each color, because each structure will produce a different look based on how much warp or weft is in predominance. In each one of these little grids, the red squares represent warp threads and the white squares represent weft threads. You might notice that each one of these that I've selected has a different positioning and ratio of white and red, which affects how we're gonna perceive these colors when they're woven. This might make a little more sense when you see it applied to my drawing. This is right now only made up of red and white pixels, but you still see the kelp design because of how those pixels are arranged in relation to one another. But just staring at this in red and white pixels is no fun, so let's simulate this as if we were actually weaving with yarns instead. Here's my design as if it were woven with red and yellow yarns, which I thought looked really pretty together. And that's pretty much the basic concept of designing a jacquard fabric. Hopefully my little explanation of this whole process made some sense. I think it's just the absolute coolest thing ever and I really wanted to share the magic. Hello, I just finished up with my day at school. I had class in the morning and then I ended up staying late just to kind of keep working and figuring out this program. And now I'm running home and it just started hailing. I don't know if you can hear that at all. But I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get dry. I'm gonna spend a lot of this weekend just continuing to work on stuff. And yeah, I guess that pretty much just wraps up this whole video. Ah, now the wind's picking up. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures this week. I hope you had fun. And if you wanna stick around, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.